Beautiful sunshine coming in. I love to see those shadows. This is my morning, quiet Bible reading station. And this is the last day in 36 years. Then I will be looking at this oak rocker in this varnish, beautiful solid oak furniture, Texas rocker. Bought this while married at a huge craft show I was doing a week before my son was born. Nursed both of my babies in this, I've told many of you before. And uh, it's been in storage. I love this rocker. I have gone between leaving it the color that it is and this table or painting them a new color. And I have made a solid decision now that I am going to paint this rocker. It is time to get rid of the old and bring on a new look and a new day with this rocker. That's the project of the day. I'm going to use milk paint. I'm not a painter. So we'll say a prayer and hope that it goes well. This is my bookmark. The prayer of Jabez. Oh, that you would bless me indeed and enlarge my territory, that your hand would be with me and that you would keep me from evil, that I may not cause pain. First Chronicles 4.10. Given to me by a beautiful friend from Creative Memories. 2001. Wow. That's awesome. So here it is. Got it on video. If I ever want to see the uh, original color again, of course, I have a ton of pictures too. Hope you'll join me. to the paint party. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is Linda, Serene and Simple Life. I am taking on a project today that I have been thinking about for oh, a couple months now at least. This is my Texas rocker with a lot of sentimental and emotional <laughs> feelings attached to it. It's traveled all over the country with me from uh, Pennsylvania, not from Pennsylvania, from, uh, oh my gosh, from Texas. Yeah, from Texas back to Pennsylvania. Yep, and uh, to Arizona, California, uh, gosh, Delaware, it's been with me everywhere. And now we are here in Rocky Pine Retreat, and we are going to give this beautiful heirloom piece. I don't know if it's really heirloom. It's 36 years old, but we're going to give it a rocker lift, a facelift. I have decided to paint it a, with milk paint, and this is a water-based dark chocolate. Now I've already opened the can, so we'll just be very careful here so that I can show you the color. I am not a painter. I am not a painter of furniture. I am a painter of uh, art. <laughs> so I am 
feel with a little bit of angst, a little anxiety, and, and you know, anxiousness and a little excitement at the same time. If you watch the beginning, I showed you I was, uh, you know, set up and this was my last day with sitting in the rocker with this color. Well, I went off and did errands yesterday. So um, the first clip was yesterday. And then I came home, it was about 3.30 and I was hungry and just decided that I did not want to start a project like this um, at four or five o'clock in the afternoon when it would start to get dark. And then I would want to finish it. And so today I'll be taking my time. I'm going to get started here and I'm not going to continue to show you as I paint because I'm going to be concentrating on what I'm doing here. I have four different size brushes. This is an old brush. I think it's kind of cheap. I'm not sure, but it looks like it's a little bit wide for this project. And then I have, this is a new brush, has a slant to it. And I'm thinking I'm gonna use that for the slats, like up above here. And then I have this, this is more like chalk paint. And I don't know if you can use this with milk paint or not. I did a little research online, but not a lot. But I will probably try to like maybe these, this, the roundness in here, I'm not sure. And then we're gonna start off with this little baby brush here. I am gonna do these little decoratives at the top. Whew, yes. I've not sanded this, it's varnished. It probably, you know, it's a little grungy. And I'm hoping that the paint's just gonna cover it and that I don't have to do anything extra. Now, is there a thought that I might mess this up? Of course. But we won't know until we get started, right? This is gonna be a little trial and error. And if I mess it up, I guess we can always go back and sand and, and redo. Um, so we're stirring the paint now. <laughs> I've got a big old tarp on the floor. I'm excited. Yes, yes, yes. Not really nervous. Just like I want to do it right, but yet at the same time, I'm just not sure, you know? So we're stirring. It doesn't feel like it really needs stirred much. Oh my gosh. If you've watched other projects of mine, you know, I can get paint across the room. So that's, I think, one of my biggest uh, concerns is, will I have more paint on the rocker or more paint on me? All right, we'll just pull up the sleeves here and we're gonna get started. So I hope you can see from a distance here, I tried to line the, line things up so that you could see, and here we go. Woo! So far, so good. <laughs> oh my gosh. I will show you maybe halfway through, and then I'll show you again when, I, when it's finished. Yeah, let's do a little more. I'm into it already now. Oh, and how much paint you get on your brush and how you wipe your brush, I don't know. I don't know. And will this need more than one coat? I'm usually someone who just does not like to do more than one coat, but I guess we'll have to see it as we go. It says it's supposed to dry for a couple hours. And one again, one of my, I guess another big concern besides a paint mess is what brush to use to get like good coverage and not have drips and drabs and, and lines. But uh, so far so good. <laughs> what we're like one minute into it okay I'm already not missing this old color I really like this I like this um, giving this a new look now I see as I stretch it out here a little bit that the paint is coming through so maybe this is going to call for two coats this paint was a little on the expensive side but it got great reviews made in the USA as are a couple of my brushes and this is uh, General, General Finishes, has an Eagle water base made in the USA. 
I'm excited. I think it's even made in Texas. I'm not sure. All right, let's see if we can get a little closer here to show you what I'm doing. There's the color. What do you think, guys? I'm guesstimating this is going to take me a couple hours. And I'll probably be turning it on its side. I don't know how I'll do the bottom. We'll wait. We'll worry about the bottom later. I'll be bending down and just, I don't know, painting, 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 and trying to figure it out as I go. All right. Just keep watching. Few minutes into this. And I am thinking, thinking, gosh, some of you who are painters of furniture are probably, this will be your, this will be your humor for the day. But when I'm holding my brush a certain way, it seems to go on better. I'm getting a lot of lines. The uh, varnished oak is coming through. So... I am not going to try to go so thick, I don't even think it's possible, that I don't have to do a second coat, because I think I'm just going to mess it up if I try to just think about only doing one coat. Yeah, because even when I put it on thick, you still have to spread it out. Learning as I go here. I'm not aspiring to be a furniture painter, that's for sure, but it's fun. I have the blinds open now. It's better lighting for me, and I have to wear my readers too, to, which I forgot. They're over at the table now. Um, so I have not tried this thicker brush yet. Let's try this right now and see how that goes. I don't know how long you can keep paint on a brush, you know, keep switching brushes. You know what I mean? So I've just got this on the tip. Let's do this here. Oh, there's a different, definitely a different feel. And maybe it's going on thicker. No, see when I start to pull down, it comes through. And I don't know exactly what you can see. And then I, before it dries, I want to go back and I want to touch it up. <laughs> and then I'm like, no, Linda, just do that. It'll all come together with the second coat, so. Hey, when I was rambling about where this rocker's been, it was bought in Texas. I'm sure I've told you that many times before. And then we moved to Virginia. I was married. And from Virginia, it went to Pennsylvania. And then it went to California. And from California, it went to Delaware. And then it went to Arizona. And then it went back to Texas. And then it went into storage. <laughs> yeah, this was one of my pieces that... Uh, I wasn't going to uh, give up uh, in the uh, settlement or whatever you want to call it. Yeah, this was my my sweet memories of days gone by, nursing babies, and then just enjoying it through the years, just enjoying the look of it. I didn't sit on it a lot, and now I'm doing my Bible studies on it, and it's really awesome. So let's move this baby up here a little, again for you. And I decided I'm going to show you like, I'll show you again in about a half an hour to an hour how far I am. And then I will, uh, I'll show you, uh, you know, on the half hour to hour mark and see how far I've gotten. And pretty sure, not pretty sure, I, I mean, this has been painted a little bit ago and you can see how it's all coming through. So definitely need a second coat. But uh, I love, love, love the color. A bit of a dab. And I'm finding, of course, the pressure of the brush, too. I think I was maybe, um, uh, you know, just unconsciously pressing too hard. The more gentle I go, the less lines I get. Duh. It's fun. It's fun learning as you go. Doing more reminiscing. Uh, <laughs> we wouldn't want to miss out. And uh, I'd be remiss not to tell you that this was in Colorado, too. We were uh, a military family. And uh, he was in the Air Force. 
we went from Texas to Colorado and then to Virginia. And then I went to Pennsylvania as a single mom. So that's how that went. Just in case you wanted to know a little more trivia here. And when I moved from Arizona to Texas, this front piece broke, broke off in uh, the moving truck. I had to have it replaced. I think it ran me, I don't know, around a hundred dollars, maybe more. And uh, looks like the exact same piece. So that was pretty exciting that they were able to do that. So we're about, I don't know, 40 minutes into this. I'm learning to go more gentle. This is pretty much my go-to brush and then that little tiny brush to go in between places. Um, I don't know. I'm not looking for perfection. I like perfection, but... So, yeah, just gentle, gentle. I have three more pieces that I'm going to be chalk painting. I'll show you those in a future show. I like to call them shows, you know? It's a video when I'm doing it, and then when I present it to you, it's a show, right? <laughs> Someone commented, no one else calls them shows. Oh my gosh, like, like sometimes you just want to tell people to get a life, right? <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh my gosh, we got to remember to love, right? Love's where it's at. So I think we're looking pretty good. Of course, I always have this temptation to go back up here and cover a little bit more. And I think that's where the second coat's gonna come in and I need to be patient. I do need to look for drips as we go, especially through these slats. It's been a little bit tricky. So there you have it. I think we're getting somewhere. Some drips here in the front. I am so excited. It's kind of like new beginnings to have this rocker painted a different color after all these years. It's going to feel like a new one that I'm painting. Oh my gosh, I just forgot what these guys at the bottom are called. I'm going between a couple different brushes now. I try this one and then I do my little touch-ups. Sitting here basically... <laughs> I'm getting my aerobics today. Do y'all have an heirloom rocker? And where all, how many states has it been to? <laughs> yeah, we're just, and we're thinking about, well, understand why you sand because, you know, the glossiness, the uh, paint doesn't take to it. And getting an understanding of what direction I always thought you'd go like in the direction of the wood grain, but then if I go back and forth this way a little bit, it covers it nicely also. I don't know. Overall, I'm pleased. I'm going to, I think I'll make myself, I don't know, a salad now. Take a little break and uh, get back to it as soon as I finish the, um, I know there's a word for these these bottom things. <laughs> I'm sure you all will put in the comments. The gliders. No, they're not the gliders. They're salt, called something else. So it's working out pretty well, and I think that I'm going to need to let it dry and turn it on its um, turn it upside down so that I can obviously paint underneath. I've only gotten a couple of drips on the tarp a little bit on my hands i think my clothes are good so far thank goodness this is water paint otherwise i would not be doing too well here i don't think i would ever paint with oil base why do people choose oil base does it look nicer does it go on better it makes me nervous to paint with oil Gosh, my daughter and I used to like paint her room and I don't know, and I've painted rooms before and oh my gosh, I would make a terrible, terrible mess. Not good. I also hired a painter, my neighbor, when I owned a home in Pennsylvania to paint the house. 
much better idea than me going after it. But I'm painting the hardest piece today. Go with the hardest and then I'll work my way down to the easiest. I'm pretty happy about this so far. I think I'll show you now when it's completed. So I've shown you just about everything I can show you, learning about the uh, pressure of the brush, the direction of which, how to go, uh, getting inside the little areas with my smaller brush. And again, it's just fun to learn as you go. Oh, I am quite pleased. Rocker rails or rocker runners. I looked that up. Oh my gosh, now I'm gonna see who watches to the end, right? I know some people put in comments and then they still continue to watch, I get it. But I did do a little touch up here and I found that if I was stroking upwards, I had some drips back here and I took my handy dandy rag and kind of wiped them to get rid of them. It's not perfect. Perhaps you would have used a different brush or uh, done this a whole different way, but there is some satisfaction in just, you know, going after a project and trying it on your own instead of saying, I can't do it or postponing it. But uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy. I am going to do a little more touch up here on the uh, rails down below. And then I do need to flip it over. So I think I'm gonna just wrap it up here for today with you. I hope that you will subscribe and click the bell if you aren't already and that you'll share this channel with uh, friends so that we can help it grow and get out there how you can become a nomad and save money. And if you desire to have a little uh, tiny house cabin that you can do that as well. You might be the catalyst for change and to help someone you never know. I'm excited in a little mini series coming up at the end of March. Um, I will show you these completed projects. Like I said, I have a few more uh, painting to do. I like this and you know, part of me is debating whether or not uh, I should just leave some of that natural um, oak coming through. Gives it kind of a rustic look if I do that. Huh, I don't know. Maybe I'll just uh, finish the bottom and stop for today and rethink that tomorrow. So, yep. First and only color ever painted on this uh, rocker. This could be it for me. This could be the last color ever. And then when I die, maybe my kids will want this rocker or maybe before I die. And if not, that's okay. Maybe it'll go to somebody that I'll never know, or maybe it'll go in the dumpster. <laughs> Sad how that happens, right? I'm happy, new color, new day, new beginnings. I wish that for you. Joy in the journey, blessings in your day, and joy in your furniture facelifts.